So welcome back. Our focus kind of in the next part and basically the remaining parts of about today's lecture is trying to answer this question. When can we diagonalize A if you have less than N distinct eigenvalues? Okay. So we need some new terminology. And the algebraic multiplicity is something we've actually talked about before. We, we simply called it the multiplicity. Some books call it the algebraic multiplicity. Our book actually calls it multiplicity. But I, I like the name algebraic multiplicity. And what is the algebraic multiplicity? Well, if lambda naught is an eigenvalue of A, the algebraic multiplicity of lambda naught is the exponent of the term lambda naught minus lambda in the factorization of the determinant of, or sorry, the characteristic equation of the polynomial. So you take the characteristic polynomial and you factor it and you're counting the number of times lambda naught minus lambda shows up in the factorization. So here's an example uh, of this. Let's say I have this matrix here and I've gone off and already calculated what the characteristic equation is and I've actually factored it for you. So you, I went through all the work and I end up with this factorization right here. So I have one minus lambda and two plus lambda squared. So what we have here is that lambda one equals one is the, an eigenvalue with algebraic multiplicity equaling to one, right? Because really you want to think that there's a one right there. And then the other eigenvalue is negative two and it has algebraic multiplicity equaling to two because two plus lambda shows up twice in the factorization. So each eigenvalue um, will have an algebraic multiplicity to it. And it's basically just counting the number of times that particular term shows up in the factorization. And as I said before, some books call this the uh, 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 just simply the multiplicity. Now, there's another type of a multiplicity attached to this, and we're, we're going to call it the geometric multiplicity. So if lambda naught is an eigenvalue of A, the geometric multiplicity of lambda naught is the dimension of the eigenspace of lambda naught, okay? And what is this? Well, we've actually explained what this is before. This is actually equal to the number of free variables in the matrix A minus lambda naught I n. So remember, lambda naught is a particular number. You put it into your matrix and you compute this matrix and compute the number of free variables. Or another way to think about it is it's the dimension of a minus lambda naught times the identity matrix. So geometric uh, multiplicity, it, this name makes sense because you're talking about a subspace inside of Rn. So you want to think of that geometrically. It may be a plane, it may be a line. So what's, what's the dimension of that geometric object carved out by the dimension of, of the null space? So that, that's a, another type of size attached to an eigenvalue. So you want to think about both the algebraic multiplicity and the geometric multiplicity are kind of sizes attached to an eigenvalue. So if we took, went to this matrix right here and we have lambda equals negative two is an eigenvalue of this. Let's try to figure out what the, algebra, the geometric multiplicity is. So I already did the first step. I put a minus negative two I three and here's my matrix. And um, I see that the first row is a multiple of the second row. Uh, so I get all zeros in that row. And then when I add the first row um, to, uh, or I guess I subtract the first row from the second row or do something there, I will get zero, zero, one. That wasn't very <laughs> precise. Uh, and that's actually wrong. Let me fix that. Try that again. One, one, zero. So if I take, um, this row and I add it to the negative of this row, I get one, one, zero. And then I do a row reduction one more time. One, one, zero, um, zero, zero, one, and zero, zero, zero. 
So I see that I have that x2 is free. And I'm just looking to find the dimension of the eigenspace. I just need to calculate the number of free variables, right? So I've done that. And let's see if I left myself some room up here. And I did. So the uh, the geometric uh, the geometric well <coughs> excuse me multiplicity uh, lambda uh, not negative two is one right because that's because the dimension of the null space of this matrix is one. So we have two different numbers attached to it. And what we have is kind of this interesting relationship between uh, the geometric multiplicity and the algebraic multiplicity, which is for all eigenvalues lambda of A, we always have the fact that the, the geometric multiplicity of lambda is always at least one. And it's always less than or equal to the algebraic multiplicity of lambda. And just remember that the geometric multiplicity, one way to think about it is the dimension of the null space of A minus lambda I n. Or you may want to think about it as the dimension of the eigenspace. Dimension of the eigenspace of lambda. So the, the takeaway here is that for an eigenvalue, we can attach two different numbers to it, an algebraic number and a kind of a geometric number. And these are kind of somehow measuring, uh, giving a size attached to the eigenvalue, two different sizes. And so we're gonna pause here and we're gonna kind of use this information to tie it to diagonalization in the next part.